Hello, 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 my YouTube family. It has been a very long time. Um, lots going on, lots has happened um, within the last few months. Sorry, I am a little hoarse. I was on tour um, last week um, in St. Petersburg, Florida, again for the Jazz and Poetry Festival. Um, and I am quite hoarse and also teaching modeling and acting classes. My voice is a little bit gone and it's allergy season, but I wanted to maximize this time that I have. Um, I'm waiting on, um, just a few things. So I was like, I have a few time, a few minutes in my day and I wanted to encourage my Erica Janelle life coaching family. Um, as far as just understanding when it's okay to admit that you are, you know, you just need some time to yourself. It's okay. I think we all put so much pressure on ourselves to be everything for everyone all the time. And often when we put that level of pressure on ourselves, we find ourselves getting to a place of burnout because we're always going, 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 pushing, 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 doing this for this person, doing that for that person. And we end up, you know, just consistently pushing ourselves and pushing ourselves and pushing ourselves to the point where, you know, we are overwhelmed. And so as I've been, you know, going through just different things, um, many of you know, I started a new job as a vice president of HR for a nonprofit that I absolutely love. I, I adore my job, but it is very demanding. And on top of that, still trying to maintain the podcast and finish the music and, you know, all of the other things that I'm doing for the nonprofit and to market the book and all of the things I've had to kind of just take a few steps back and realize that I can't do every project at the same time. And it's okay. Um, there was a time and a season when, when I got everything launched and off the ground and it was easier for me. Um, to get out get it all navigated but now I'm at a place where um, my level of responsibilities has increased and therefore when my levels of responsibility increases that means I don't have as much time on my hands to do some of the things that I've done in the past and for a while there I would feel really guilty um, because I felt like I wasn't doing everything that I know is a part of my purpose and a part of God's plan for me and it doesn't mean that I'm not going to get back to those things such as making these videos more frequently. Um, but it just means that I can't do everything by myself. And because my workload and my responsibilities has increased, it's natural to be able to say, okay, it's all right for me to take a step back and understand that I can't do everything. I can't be everything for everybody. I can't say yes to every engagement. I can't um, go everywhere that all my friends want me to go or do all the things that everybody wants me to do. I have to step back and say, you know what? This is not the right time. I have to be able to pour back into myself. And we, you know, are often talking about the importance of self-care and self-love and making sure that your mental health is, is taken care of and you're checking in with yourself and doing those things that are needed to be successful. And even for me as a coach, I have to remind myself and be intentional with doing those things for myself because burnout is real. And I am at a place of just feeling a bit overwhelmed with some of my things. While I do love the things that I do, I understand the value of being able to take a few steps back and sometimes go, go within and get to the place where I need to be so that I'm happy, that I'm healthy, that I'm where I need to be. And so I just wanted to bring this word before you guys. Don't feel pressure to be everything for everybody all the time. Sometimes you've got to take a few steps back. Sometimes you've got to take some time for yourself. And sometimes it's okay to just say, all right, I can't do this right now. Or I am feeling overwhelmed or I am feeling burnt out. I don't have the energy or the strength or the capacity or even the desire to do whatever it is that you are asking of me right now. And it's okay. So 
I'm learning this as I'm going through my journey. And it doesn't mean that the things that I love, I won't get to do. It just means that maybe right now, I have to take a step back from trying to do everything and just do some of the things that I love and not necessarily everything that I love at the same time. And so I'm learning, I'm navigating. The beauty of it is, um, you know, with my music and the podcast and this channel and all of the other ventures as far as the nonprofit, all of those things are my businesses. So I can pick and choose when I want to do launches and when I want to bring something out before the public, I get to choose that timeline. So the pressure that I was putting on myself before, I've kind of just learned how to stop pressuring myself and making sure that I'm also taking care of my self-care while taking care of the planning and also being able to divvy out some of that work to other people so that I'm not overwhelmed and trying to do everything and be everything for everybody. So it's a process that I'm learning and a journey I'm going through right now. And I pray that you guys are understanding the value of that as well. Another topic that has been on my mind is in that same kind of vein. And I know I've done a video about this probably a while ago, maybe even a year or two ago about being aware of energy vampires. And I say that because a lot of times people will put pressure on you, especially if they know that you're a person that is a, you know, you're an action person, you're going to go and get stuff done, you're going to make it happen. You know, a lot of times people will pull on you to do different things in different areas and not realizing you'll agree to those things and then realize that you're burnt out. And that is another way that people can drain your energy. So you have to be okay with saying no. And one of the things that I've learned, I can't remember what speaker I heard say it, or if it was a podcast or a TED talk I was listening to, but I remember uh, someone mentioning to me that no is a complete sentence. And it really resonated with me because I'm always the person that's always going to go above and beyond to help people and to be a support system for people and to be able to get myself to a place where I was able to say, you know what? No is a complete sentence and being okay with that was a process for me. And so um, I've learned that it's okay to say no when you are being pulled in too many directions or being asked for too many things that are really, really draining and you find yourself being tapped out emotionally, mentally, physically, it is okay to say no. Don't let people's expectations or their emergencies or their crises become your crisis. Their crisis doesn't have to be yours. Their emergency doesn't have to be yours. Their challenge doesn't have to be yours. You can pick and you can choose whether or not you make that yours. And so that's another thing that I'm learning. So um, with in the vein of protecting your time, protecting your energy, protecting your strength and making sure that you balance. Also know when somebody's draining too much energy out of you and be okay with saying no. Be okay with saying not right now. Be okay with saying I'll get back to you. It's totally fine. And I would like for you guys to try to adopt that saying that no is a complete sentence because it is. No means no. You don't have to explain yourself. You don't have to say why you said no. Sometimes it just means no. I can't do it. No. You don't have to tell them why. They don't deserve to know why. You say no, then it's no. And that's okay. I hope this resonates with you guys. Um, it's Sunday I'm focusing on just working on my self-care, recuperating. You can hear my voice. It's also allergy season, so that plays a big part on it. But I'm really, really trying to balance my life better. And I'm hoping that you guys are doing the same. Um, you will be seeing new projects. I am finishing up the EP, um, but I stopped putting the pressure on myself. So most likely it'll be done by the end of May and released. Um, I want to make sure it's also perfection so that's another thing um so the ep will be released i will be advertising it and putting some marketing out for you guys so you can know where to get it and where to download it and everything so i will be talking to you guys a lot more frequently soon hopefully i'm really um in the process of implementing more of a schedule 
um, for my recording. So that way we're able to get everything done when we need to get it done. I love you guys very much. Have an amazing week and I'll be seeing you soon. Thanks. Bye.